and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten. But to start things off, what are we drinking today? Uh, Colonel Ives Wendigo Wheat. Mm. <laughs> today we're going to be talking about 1981's Madman. This movie was directed by... Now, we're having a hard time pronouncing this one, so we're just going to kind of go with what we think. <laughs> Uh, we're thinking it's Giannone. I think it's Gein, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it could be. <laughs> it was also written by him, too, and I'm not going to say his name again. Gaylor Ross is in this, and uh, she was in Dawn of the Dead. So Madman starts off like a typical campsite slasher. There's a bunch of counselors and their kids, and they're having a fire that night. And the head counselor, Max, is telling the story of... Madman Mars, <laughs> mean old farmer who is notorious for getting into bar fights and he actually murders his wife and children with an axe. The townsfolk then take Madman Mars, go to hang him. During the hanging, he gets loose and he just kind of flees into the woods, <laughs> never to be seen again. And legend has it that if you say Madman Mars' name, he'll come out of hiding and come get you. And one of the kids, Richie, decides to be a little prick about it and <laughs> goes up to the house that used to be apparently Madman's old house yelling at it, come on Madman Mars, come get me! And he yeah. throws a rock and breaks a window. You know now, something <laughs> has been set loose. Damn fool kids will never learn. The counselors get back to the head cabins, which is beautiful. It's like some mansion. Like, yeah. if I'm going to be a counselor, it's going to be at this camp. <laughs> come across this stump that has, like, this old axe in it, and, like, no one could take the axe out of the stump. It's kind of like a sword in the stone type legend. It's the last night, and Max tells all the counselors he's going to go back to town and play cards, and they have to kind of take care of the kids. There's this chef. <laughs> who's pissed drunk, he's polished off a bottle of Jack, and, he, and then he goes into the big cooler, and... Yeah. <laughs> Madman kills this poor bastard who's done nothing! <laughs> Absolutely nothing. In the meantime, TP, I don't even know the guy's full name, and Betsy get into the hot tub, and <laughs> they get in this hot tub, and they just kind of start turning around in this <laughs> yeah. hot tub. I don't really get what Chasing that's all about. Chasing each other yeah. or something? I don't know. <laughs> you get in first and start turning. Then I'll get in and I'll turn too. And it's super long that scene too. <laughs> yeah. So by this point, Richie's still missing. So TP wants to go find him. All of a sudden, there's this figure that kind of wraps a noose around his neck and starts dragging him through the woods. The noose gets wrapped around the trunk of a tree and he gets pulled up. He sort of gets his hands on the rope and he starts to lift himself back up and grabs the branch. But Madman Mars isn't having any of it. And you see him come up and just grab his belt buckle. <laughs> <laughs> his neck just snapped. That's the end of TP. One of the other counselors back in the camp, Dave, he goes out looking for TP. Madman yep. takes the axe out of that stump. He actually cuts Dave's head right off. Stacy, back at the camp, <laughs> she wants to go looking for Dave. Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Tells two of the other counselors, Ellie and Bill, that she's going to be going out. She parks the truck goes into the woods a bit and finds Dave's decapitated body. And of course, wouldn't you know it, the truck doesn't start, right? Yeah. So she's got to get out, opens up the hood, sticks her head in to start fixing the truck, and Madman just comes down and jumps on the hood and just cuts <laughs> her head right off. With his big monster feet. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie and Bill now, they come upon the truck, they find everything, they go to start the truck, and you hear this kind of clunking. <laughs> <laughs> so, alright, Bill's got to go out, opens up the hood, nerd Stacy's head's all inside <laughs> the, the hood of the truck. <laughs> it's all in the engine. So he all picks up the head and... <laughs> <laughs> And while they're driving, Madman must have been in the back or something, and he goes and pulls Bill out of the truck. Yeah. Ellie ends up running back to the camp, throwing everything out of a fridge and hiding in there and sort of getting away from Mars. She gets out, opens up a door, and boom, right into the chest with that big fucking axe. Betsy is the only counselor left here, so she's getting kind of freaked out, and there's a double barrel shotgun. Just as she gets close to this window, all of a sudden, up pops Ellie. Please help me! Boom! <laughs> and just blows her away! <laughs> it 
it's not even Madman yeah. Mars that killed her. <laughs> she's the only one left, and she's got to protect the kids. And that's where we're going to end it. If you want to see what's going to happen to Betsy, the kids, keep watching. One of the best things about Madman is... Madman. <laughs> yeah. Madman Mars. He's such a good character slasher, you know? Yeah. He looks really good. His backstory is really cool. He's not really out for revenge. He's just a prick. Exactly. He's just a mean old bastard. It's sort of the myth turned real, which yeah. everybody's always afraid of happening. Nobody ever wants no. <laughs> these, these, these myths or these urban legends to get real, right? Yeah. Yeah, and you rarely ever see him, like... Full on. Yeah, yeah. you only see, like, his hands. <laughs> you see his feet. They're all hairy, yeah. like, fur like a horse. Is that <laughs> fur like a, like a horse? <laughs> and then a lot of the time you just see him, like, in shadows, like, backlit. Yeah. Or just, like, a silhouette of him kind of running. I find you root for Mars more than the counselors <laughs> yeah. in this. Yeah. Because, again, like, the writing, maybe it's their dialogue or something, they're kind of shitty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and you just, yeah. you they, they almost piss you off. It's like, okay, you're fucking pissing me off. Just die it's already. time to go. <laughs> yeah. Especially TP. Like, that. I can't stand that prick. Ugh, I hate his face. In the opening scene where he's kind of singing in the campfire, and he's, like, kind of in everyone's face and singing the Madman song. It's like, yeah. who does that? <laughs> if I was sitting in a campfire and some guy starts singing to me, I'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to listen to you sing. A lot of cool shots and angles in this. The shot of Madman who's holding up Dave. Yeah. Long sequences to lead up to a kill. Okay, it's gonna happen anytime here. Okay, come on, come on. Pacing in the lead up to all the kills is, is really good. They don't blow their load too soon. The effects are cool and they're extremely simple. When uh, she gets her face blown off there, now that's a really good effect. <laughs> and when uh, TP is hanging, it's really cool too. Yeah, that's cool pretty too. cool, yeah. And I like the way he struggles yeah. too, you know? Yeah, it's it's neat. They're just, they're all great. And they're all memorable too. The kills in this movie are worth the watch alone. <laughs> exactly. When they first wrote this movie, they wanted to do a, a telling of the urban legend Cropsy. The movie The Burning, which came out also in 1981, beat them to it. Right. So they had to actually come up with a new backstory for the killer in this, which is where they came up with the Madman Mars idea, which I think is, is pretty damn cool. I'm glad that they were forced to write their own story as opposed to just adopting the urban legend. They forced them to write that that song too, right? So they basically created an urban legend. That'll lead us to one final thing we gotta mention here. And this one is a spoiler, but it's something we gotta mention because it's very rare in in horror and slasher movies. Yeah. Nobody survives in this movie. <laughs> yeah. Which is Almost unheard of. There's yeah. always somebody left. Yeah. It's another lesson to be learned in some of these slasher movies like um, Friday the 13th Part 2 and stuff. <laughs> always go to town. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah, because... Because in... you'll live when you go to town. <laughs> yeah. If you're a slasher fan and you like uh, just some cheesy fun, please check out 1981's Madman. And keep drinking. And nobody drinks in this movie either. Except for that chef. Oh, yeah, yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> and he's yeah. the first one to get it. <laughs> yeah, true enough. I'll take another sip here.